Hello everyone, this is Juan from CanHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time we're going to be discussing the blood vessels that we find on uh, the male pelvis. And to do so, we're going to be exploring this image, mainly this image that you see now on the screen, which is essentially a lateral view of the male pelvis. So if we cut here the male pelvis, then expose some of the main structures here, some of the organs like the urinary bladder. You can also see here uh, the part of uh, the rectum. And all these structures that we're going to be talking about, uh, the blood vessels here, which uh, you see here in red, the arteries, and then in blue, the different veins that will supp uh, supply the different structures of uh, the male pelvis. Now, the arteries and veins of uh, the male pelvis are similar to those that you find on the female pelvis with the exception of the blood vessels of the genitalia which differ of course. Now let's begin by looking at the blood vessels that supply oxygenated blood to the pelvis, so the arteries. And we're going to highlight here the very first one that you see now on this image. Notice here the main one that will be supplying blood here, oxygenated blood. This is then the abdominal aorta. Now the abdominal aorta is without a doubt the largest blood vessel found in the abdominal cavity giving off many branches that supply much of the abdominal cavity as well as the lower extremities. Now, if you remember, this structure enters the abdomen through the diaphragm at the level of T12 and descends down through the abdomen anterior to the vertebral bodies of L1 to L4, giving off numerous branches until it then bifurcates at the level of L4. So this is where it's going to be bifurcating. And you can also see here on this image, we removed here L4, but this is where you see a bit of location here, L5, L4 should be here. This is where the bifurcation of the abdominal aorta is going to be happening. And when it bifurcates, it will then split into the left common iliac artery and the right common iliac artery at approximately this level. And on this image, you can see here then the left common iliac artery and a cut of the right one here. I would like to also show you this image here of the interior view of the open abdomen where you can then see the highlighted here abdominal aorta and notice how it bifurcates into the two common iliac arteries. Moving on to the next structure that we're going to be seeing here on the male pelvis, highlighted in green we see now the median sacral artery. Now the median sacral artery is a small vessel that will be arising from the posterior side of the abdominal aorta, just superior to its bifurcation. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.